Hello everybody, I am Conquering History Games and welcome to a different sort of guide on the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a guide for the Hearts of Iron 4 mod, uh, Kaiser Redu, or Kaiser Ducks as you may want to call it. Uh, in short, Kaiser Redu is a... I was told not to call it a sub-mod, but it's basically a sub-mod. You can kind of think of this more as um, what the road of... A, a, a great analogy I heard, and I wish I... I should have written down who said it to me because uh, I thought it was great. Is in a way Kaiser Redo is the road to is is to Kaiser Reich what the road to 56 is to Vanilla Hearts of Iron 4. It's basically a mod that um, has a lot of, of uh, expanded trees, lots of new countries that have their own trees, uh, different sort of interactions that can happen between countries, uh, with less of a focus on um, what I guess you might call. Uh, realism and more of a focus on just for fun interesting uh, concepts and uh, I plan on doing a, a properly pre-recorded campaign in this mod which I'm actually gonna be working on later today but for today I wanted to do just a quick little guide to show you an example of how Kaiser Redo is different and I'm gonna show you how to create uh, independent Texas out of the United States uh, it's much simpler than some of the other guides I've been doing lately um, so this should hopefully be pretty quick. So of course what you're going to want to do if you want to play as the Republic of Texas is you want to start as the United States. By the way, I think this is very cool, this little map here. Um, neat, neat stuff. So it's just, it's pretty standard. You're going to go in as the United States, which because this is the Kaiserreich world, is going to uh, fall into Civil War. Just wanted to get that in there so you could like pause it and read all the developers. And uh, just hit let's play the game. Don't worry about this interesting thing. It has nothing to do with... Uh, um, uh, how you make Texas. So I'm just going to jump ahead to the first relevant event. In February of 1936, you're going to get the National Unity Agreement. Uh, you are going to reject the coalition by saying a coalition would debase the democratic system. Now we're going to fast forward to the actual presidential election in November 1936. And uh, what I would just maybe suggest doing in the meantime, since you are going to be playing as Texas, you may want to focus your construction efforts down here in Texas, making infrastructure or factories or whatever. You still got time to do this after the election, but if you already know that you're going to switch over, there's really no good reason to not be doing that, which is something that applies for every uh, Civil War breakoff nation that you play. So. Uh, even though John Nance Garter is the guy from Texas, you actually want to elect Huey Long. And now you're going to start getting a long series of events, most of which I'm not going to show because they're just event pop-ups that tell you that stability is going down or you're losing political power or you're losing manpower or whatever. Uh, in order to simplify things as much as possible, I'm only going to show you the actual events that have... Um, that have... Uh, 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 to do with Texas breaking away. Hmm. Uh, shortly afterwards, you're uh, after the election, that is, you're going to get this event, Electors Defy the Majority, where uh, the electors... Uh, look up the Electoral College. I'm not going to get into it all today, uh, but people in the United States should already understand how this works. But basically, the, the people who choose the president, even though Texas is apparently won by Huey Long in, uh, in, in this canon, where he's already elected, but... Uh, they instead choose to vote for John Nance Garner, despite what the popular vote said. Um, and so this is going to lead to a court case. You're going to want the court case to go to the Supreme Court. A few days later, you're going to get the Supreme Court decision. And uh, you are going to select they have no obligation, which essentially it's the Supreme Court decides that the electors can defy the will of the people, which is of course going to be extremely controversial. Um, and then eventually you're going to get an event about bleeding Texas, which I'll go forward to now. As you see, we're now in December pre-inauguration day, and you're going to have a few different options about what to do with Texas. You're just going to say, this is too much work, let them sort it out, which will cost you stability and political power. And uh, then we're going to keep moving forward. Nearly done here, it's still December of 1936. The governor is considering resigning. Uh, you're going to want him to stay, and this is going to lead to more support for the Texas independence movement. Uh, also, by now, you've gotten the bleeding Texas uh, national spirit, which is going to cost you half of political power. 
uh, point a day as well as lowering your stability. Just take a look at what my stability and uh, political power is in that top left corner. As you can see, this is not very good. Uh, and I'm bringing it up because it's something to keep in mind in determining when you want the Civil War to start, uh, which I'll talk about more in the next event. Now we are in August of 1937. It's possible for these events to happen earlier. Uh, those of you who've seen my live streams of Texas uh, know that this is possible. It seems to be tied to uh, when you begin working on the President Longtree, which will eventually automatically bypass itself, but it only takes five days to do. So you, you basically just have to ask yourself what your priorities are because you are, you're taking serious penalties from bleeding Texas and stuff like that. But you could also be, um, here we go. Uh, you could you'll be working on focuses. I'm not necessarily these, saying these are the best focuses that you should work on. I was kind of just clicking things because this this was just this particular recording was just for the guide. Uh, but it, that it's kind of more important if you're going to actually stay as the United States of America than if you're going to move over. But also remember, any technology that you research is going to carry over to the other states. So if uh, if you want to have certain technologies when you start as Texas, be sure to have them researched by the time you start the Civil War. That's kind of just some general Civil War uh, advice. So you're going to get uh, MacArthur in the army removing Long, and then the uh, the military junta is now in charge. Now unpause it, and this part is very important. Uh, you're going to now get an illegal referendum in Texas. You're going to say we are in no position to stop them, and now the, uh, the break-off countries the breakoff nations are going to start spawning okay now american union state as you can see takes up most of the geographical area of texas but you have to stand by the republic in order to do this properly so first the american union state is going to pop up and then the well, yeah this should be it right now yeah you're gonna get the old democrats so this is the uh the constitutional um american republic it's basically the new confederacy again stand by the republic then the csa should break away right now waiting for it there we go uh okay stick again continue standing by the republic but you're already kind of climbing out of your stability thing and then texan republic gets its own super event that's why texas is awesome the devs knew it you know it i know it the world knows it <laughs> so the republic gets born anew the lone star rises uh, and then you play Hans Zimmer's music from uh, The Dark Knight Rises, you know, Deshi, Deshi, Bara, Basha, and then the Yellow Rose of Texas, and then Texas are Texas, and then you listen to the uh, dozens of amazing Texas musicians that exist. And there you have it, you are now Texas. Now, there's, a, there's one more thing that I want to show you, though, because uh, you might want to make a save file before you break away, because there's an event that happens which might seem initially to be bad, but it's something that I think that uh, most of you are going to want to happen. So I'll show you it right now. So, super quick history lesson for those of you who don't know. Texas, the original Republic of Texas, was carved out of Mexico. It was an independence movement that broke away and then eventually, over the long term, leads to war with the United States. And there's disputes about what's considered to be Texas, you know, what river does it stop at, and things like that. So, uh, what uh, Mexico does here is they decide to cross the Rio Grande in uh, this, uh, this western portion of Texas and they take back El Paso. Uh, as well as some uh, other territory here, kind of around the rocky area. Um, and this is going to bypass a focus called Border Crisis, which will unlock these three things where you can decide how you're going to deal with Mexico. But uh, I'm pretty sure everybody's going to want to do Revenge for the Alamo at some point, which will uh, give you an annexation war goal against uh, the United Mexican States or whatever government it is that is down there. Uh, so it's like a free... It's, it's, it's basically a free war goal. Um, one last bit of advice. I'm not. This is not a guide for the entirety of the Republic of Texas. I might do that in the future. But uh, do keep in mind you're going to start with the Bleeding Texas uh, negative effect. And also, you only have a couple of different focuses that are available to you right away. But I would just personally suggest before you do anything, you do the National Guard. Uh, you know, activate that 36th Infantry Division. It's only going to take seven days, and that's going to spawn you a few troops because otherwise you're going to have to build them manually, and uh, you don't exactly have any equipment to do that with at the start. Um, so just do the National Guard, and from there, you know, you're a grown-up. You can figure out what to do from there. Uh, but that's it. That's how you form the Republic of Texas, uh, the greatest of the 50 states. And, uh, yeah, I hope that you guys like that. Um, very cool, very cool stuff. I've uh, been checking this out this week, and uh, like I said... 
I'm, I'm going to get uploading this right now, and then I'm going to start recording a, a, a full campaign, hopefully. Uh, I'm going to just focus on that. There's not going to be any live streams for the next couple days, I think, because I'm going to be focusing on that. So uh, look forward to Saturday for my next live stream. And uh, please be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, if you really want to support the channel, I should have a link to my Patreon down in the description below. Uh, you all have yourselves a wonderful day. I've been Conquering History Games. Goodbye.